Teamwork is at the heart of a lot of special things. It's been at the heart of a long and successful career for Michigan State assistant basketball coach Mike Garland. He helped Tom Izzo coach the Spartans to 19 NCAA tournaments, 10 Big Ten championships, seven Final Fours, and a national championship. Mike Garland retired a couple of months ago. Little did he know two weeks later, a team of strangers would have the heart to save his. A warning, some of the video we are about to show you is tough to watch. Memories of a storied career and a lot of pride on the walls in Mike Garland's home. Yeah, yeah, it, it tells quite a story of what I've done over the last uh, 25 years of being here. He calls Tom Izzo his best friend. Their friendship goes all the way back to the 1970s when they were basketball teammates at Northern Michigan University. I'm here because of a promise that I made to him that, uh, yeah, one day, you know, he, he said one day I'm going to be a big time coach and I need you to come and help me. Over the years, these friends and their hearts turned boys into men and teams into champions. After we won the national championship, Muhammad Ali invited us to his house for his son's birthday. Really? Then there was the first ever basketball game on an aircraft carrier and meeting President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama. And then we talked just like we're talking mm -hmm. and, uh, and in the end we all took a picture together. A rewarding life that in August, just two weeks into retirement, ended without any warning. 911, what's the location of your emergency? Um, I had a car accident. Um, where am I at? College Road and um, Holt Road. Garland was driving to the bank with his wife when the electrical system in his heart failed. It's called V-Fib and without help right away, it's deadly. I see the tree and I'm like, oh my God, we're getting ready to hit a damn tree. And then after that, it was just like, phew, the airbag came out so fast. And then I look over at him and he slumped. So I'm like, no, this can't be happening. So I'm speaking to God like, this is our latter days. He just retired, you know. So how can you take him from me now? And they came up right at that moment. And he answered my prayer. He brought the angels. The angels, Jason Blackwell and John Drolette. Blackwell was the first to stop and call 911. His eyes are open and he's not conscious. All right, we need to start CPR, sir. Can you get him on the ground, flat on his back? Two strangers working together to bring Garland back. Blackwell breathing into Garland's lungs, Drolette pumping his heart until sheriff's deputies took over. Help him, Jesus! All right. Okay, get that BVM out. I don't have a pulse. With Garland showing no signs of life, deputies continue CPR and use a defibrillator to try to get his heart beating. Eight minutes into the response, Garland is still not breathing on his own. At a fire bay, we got one shock delivered with an AED time now. Go ahead, go. Are we on? Right. Yep. Keep going up. Clear, clear, clear. Oh, shit. Okay. Shock. Thank you. Yep. Back on this. Adam 58 second shock advised administered time now. Medics give Garland another shock to the heart and they're off to the hospital. Garland spent more than 24 hours on a ventilator. When he woke up, doctors told him it is amazing he's alive. One of the doctors in the hospital said, if you had millions of dollars and you knew that this was going to happen to you and you lined everything up to protect yourself, he said, I don't know if it could still work out for you. Even the doctor said, if we had been at home, he probably wouldn't have made it. But he did, because within seconds, two men stopped, stepped up, and took action. Three weeks later, Garland is still recovering, but feeling good enough to see a special visitor. You're looking a lot better than the last time yeah, I saw you. Yeah. I bet. Oh, boy. Oh, man. It's really good to see you. It's good to see you too. I appreciate it, man. Mm. As I was told, a lot of people drove right by me. And, yeah. You know, you could have yeah. did the same, but you chose not to. You chose to be a you decent human being. Car. I'm convinced that there's millions of people out there that 
would jump in to do what I did and what Jason Blackwell did in this situation. They just haven't been presented the opportunity. We were. You know you're a good person. You believe you're a good person. People tell you you're a good person. But when you do this kind of good, it, you can't feel any better. It, it's not possible. A lot of pride, you know and for Coach Tom Izzo, a mind. grateful heart. It was like a group of teams, and they all worked so well together. And in that video, you can see one passing the baton to the other, who passes it to the other. It was amazing. It made me feel good about our world uh, that I don't often feel good about lately. Joseph Bandless, how are you? Hello, nice to meet you. I was. Yeah. With a new appreciation for life and a heart known for building championship teams, Mike Garland wanted to meet the team of people who never gave up on him. The champions of his heart, each and every first responder, from the 911 operator to the doctors and nurses. And it took teamwork. And uh, it's what I call maximum execution. So good to see you. That's what Michigan State basketball program has been about. And that's what happened that saved my life. We know the video we shared in this story is upsetting, yet it is powerful. Mike Garland felt it was important for us to show it because it reveals humanity at its finest. It is a lesson for all of us to stop and help our fellow man, and we thank him for being brave enough to share his story with us. Wow, what an amazing story. And how is he doing and his wife? Both are doing well. Well, you see them in the video. You yeah. know, if you saw him on the street, you wouldn't even know any of this yeah. happened. He, he says, he, you know, he's, he was at the top of his health, he yeah. said. He's a very healthy man. He works out a lot. So that's helping him in his recovery. And we're so happy to see him yeah. doing well. Incredible story. Yeah. Thanks for bringing it All to right. us. Thanks, David. Very good.